गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू सिग्नल्स एंड सिस्टम ऑनलाइन वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज आई होप एवरी वन इज सेफ बींग इन द होम एंड इन कंटिन्यूएशन टू द प्रीवियस क्लासेस आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ सिस्टम्स बेस्ड ऑन द वेरियस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सिस्टम्स वी हैव सम वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ सिस्टम्स In the previous classes, we have studied the two various types of systems. One is analog system and the digital system. One class of system it is. And next one is static and the dynamic system. Two systems we have discussed. Analog system is a one we know that, which completely deals with the continuous time signals or analog signals, whereas a digital signal is a one which completely deals with the with the uh, digital signal only and the next uh, classification of the system we have discussed that is a uh, static and the dynamic system static system is also called as memoryless system whereas a dynamic system is also called as memory system static system if the output of a system is purely dependent on the present input signals then that is called as static system the dynamic system is nothing but if the output of the system is dependent on the past input signals or the future input signals then that is called as it is a dy dy uh, dynamic system other name for the dynamic system we know that it is the memory system that means uh, in order to have the output we require to have the present and the past and the future input so that to have the past inputs it has to stored somewhere so that these systems uh, requires to have the memory uh, devices so by storing that previous input value and the next state of the output can be generated then that is called as and dynamic systems in this video i'm going to talk about the another type of the system that is called it is the third type of system it is causal system and the non causal system causal system and the non causal system causal system is nothing but if a system output is dependent on the present and the past input signals then that is named as a causal system and non causal is very simple if you understand the causal system causal system is a one whose output is dependent on the present and the past input signals then the non causal will be if the output of a system is dependent on the future input signals then that system is named as it is a non causal system whatever we have been uh, seeing the uh, general uh, machines and the systems are all comes under the causal system so non causal system means we require to have the future input future input that is estimated value if you go with the general example for the non causal system that is non causal system is nothing but it is a population or the stock market price tomorrow stock market price all these comes under the non causal system so i am going with the definition a system is causal if the output does not depend on future values of the input in other words what we can say if the output at any time depends only on the values of the present inputs and the previous inputs for example present input i am assuming t is equals to 1 if the output is also dependent on the t is equals to 1 and t less than 1 t less than 1 means it is the previous value or the past value then that system is called as a causal system if the system output is dependent on the future input also then that is called as a non causal system it is called it is non causal system so here i am going to explain the 
difference between the causal system and non causal system with respect to some examples all the real time physical systems are causal because time only moves forward effect occurs after the cause imagine if you own a non causal system that means the output is dependent on the future input also whose output depends on the tomorrow stock price causality does not apply to spatially varying signals if the signal is spatially varying then we should not apply the causality property we can move both left and right up and down causality does not apply to the system processing recorded signals example the taped sport games versus live broadcasting of video signals so now we are going with the some of the examples of the causal system first one i am going the first one i am going with y of t is the output is equals to x of t x of t is the input y of t is the output if i take t is equals to 0 so that y of 0 is equals to x of 0 I have been getting the y of zero as a output due to the x of zero as a input zero to zero present to present. Then this system, with respect to the causal, it is a causal system. Causality with respect to the causality, it is a causal system. From the definition of the causality, it is also clear that when the output of a system is dependent on the present and the previous input values, previous input values. then that is named as a causal system so now i am going with the second example y of t is equals to y of t is equals to x of t minus 1 y of t is equals to x of t minus 1 y of t is the present state output and whereas x of t is the input x of t is the present input but y of t is dependent on x of t minus 1 t minus 1 will be the previous input for the t take any value for the t for example i am going with the t is equals to 2 so that y of 2 is equals to i can write y of 2 is equals to x of 2 minus 1 that means what i can have y of 2 is equals to x of 1 y of 2 is equals to x of 1 means that means what y of 2 two output y of 2 is dependent on input x of 1 so 1 is the previous input for the 2 so that this system is also called as causal system if you go with the various examples then this is also example y of t is equals to x of t plus 1 now t plus 1 it is nothing but it is the future input only y of t is the present output x of t is the present input but y of t is the present output is it is dependent on x of t plus 1 take any value of a t now i am assuming t is equals to 0 If t is equals to zero, in that case, y of uh, t is nothing but y of zero is equals to x of t plus one is nothing but x of zero plus one that is x of one. That means what? Y of zero is equals to x of one. Y of zero, if it is present state output, it is dependent on x of one. One will be the future to the zero. In similar. to the previous examples here the output is dependent on the future input value so that in that case this system is non causal system so next case is y of t is equals to x square of t simply x square of t replace the uh, substitute various values for t if t is equals to 0 and here also 0 If t is equals to one and here also one. If t is equals to minus one, here also minus one. So that it is purely dependent on. It is purely dependent on present inputs only. So that this system is called as causal system. Coming to the next one, 
y of t is equals to y of t is equals to 1 by t 1 by 2 t 1 by 2 t into x cube of t minus 1 t minus 1 take any value of t now take any value of t y of 0 is equals to y of 0 is equals to 1 by 2 to the power of 0 that is 1 into x power of 0 minus 1 it is minus 1 notice it is a previous value so that it is also named as it is a causal system and y of t x of t is nothing but it is the input is x of t output is y of t that means what x of t is a continuous time signal y of t is also continuous time signal so that in that case this system this causality is defined with respect to the continuous time systems not discrete systems now i am moving with the discrete uh, time systems same example they have replaced with the discrete time we know that Continuous time is denoted with the x of t. Discrete time is denoted with y of t. x of t and y of t. Continuous time is de uh, discrete time is denoted with uh, x of n and uh, uh, continuous time is denoted with y of sorry x of t. Likewise, you can have the uh, uh, difference. So we are going to solve this some more problems. So we are we are going to see this some more uh, problems based on the causal and non-causal system. So it is very simple that causal system means if the system output is if the system output is dependent on present inputs and the past inputs present inputs are the past inputs are present and past inputs then that system is named as a causal system which is nothing but a non anticipated system non anticipated system if the system is dependent on the future input values then that is called non causal system so we know that all the all the causal systems are real time system they are physically real aware we can realize realizable we can realize that uh, uh, causal systems and that systems are are real time system we can go with the uh, various uh, uh, examples for the causal system and the non-causal system see here here a system is said to be a non-causal that is anticipative if the output of the system at any time t depends on future inputs that do not exist in real life they are not physically uh, realizable they are anticipatory systems they produce the output even before the input signal given the best examples he has given y of t is equals to x of t plus 2 plus x of t here t t plus 2 t plus 2 is the future to the t and coming to here y of n is equals to x of n plus x of 2n if i take y n is equals to 1 and it will be x of 2n 2n is the future to the n and here these are the some of the examples for the non causal system then you can go with the some of the problems based on the causal and non causal systems then i am going with the causal and non causal systems See, check the following systems are causal or not. By seeing directly, you can tell this one. See this one. Y of t is equals to x of 2 minus t. X, y of t is equals to x of 2 minus t plus x of uh, t minus 4. Check any value for this one. If t is equals to 0, then y of uh, 0 is equals to x of uh, 2 minus 0. That is x of 2 plus x of minus 2 this is 0 y of 0 is the present output it is dependent on x of 2 
टू इज द फ्यूचर टू द जीरो बट माइनस टू इज द पास टू द जीरो सो दट वाई ऑफ जीरो इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन द फ्यूचर इनपुट एंड एज वेल एज पास्ट इनपुट सो दट इट इज कॉल्ड एज नॉन काजल काजल मीन्स वर्ड इट हैज टू डिपेंडेंट ऑन द प्रेजेंट एंड द पास्ट इनपुट्स ओनली बट इट इज डिपेंडिंग ऑन द फ्यूचर इनपुट सो दट इट इज कॉल्ड इट इज नॉन काजल सिस्टम इट इज ए नॉन काजल सिस्टम then we are going with the uh, uh, another example to get the clarity about the causal and non causal non causal systems see this y of n is equals to y of n is equals to x of n plus 1 by x of n minus 1 n minus 1 means simply you can tell that it is a causal system only see this one Here I am giving n is equals to zero, so that y of zero is equals to x of zero plus one uh, by x of uh, minus one. Just compare y of zero, zero to zero. That means what if zero is a present and this zero is also present. If zero is a present and uh, x of minus one will be the previous one. And like that you can test various cases so that it is a causal system. And you can go with this one also. It is a here it is also the uh, causal this is causal system then we can go for the any value now i am going with what now here i am going with x of here x y of t is equals to x of t by 2 given that is t is equals to 1 i am taking that is y of 1 is equals to x of 1 by 2 that means what compare 1 and 1 by 2 1 by 2 will be the previous value to the 1 Then take the two value that uh, two is a present state. Then one will be the previous minus two value. Y of minus two is equals to x of uh, minus one. That means what? Minus two is the minus two is the present output and it is dependent on the minus one. Just take the x-axis and plot all the values minus one and minus two. Minus two we are saying it is a Present state output it is dependent on the minus one. Minus one will be the future value for the minus two, so that it is called as non-causal system. So that here the point is very clear that if a system output is dependent on the present and the past input, then that system is called as causal system. If the system output is dependent on the future input, then that system is called as non-causal system. non causal systems also called as anticipatory systems and whereas uh, causal systems are called non anticipatory systems thank you students in tomorrow's class we are going to continue the classifications of systems thank you